Welcome to your practice. Today we are working through a 20 minute flow that will focus on the mobility in the thoracic region of our spine. It's the most mobile section of the spine, that mid spine, um, the region attached to your rib cage. So with that, we'll be doing a lot of twists. We don't need any props for today's class, so go ahead and just take a seat on your mat. Place your fingertips by the sides of your waist, anchor your sitting bones, and then extend a bit longer through the crown of the head. Take a big breath into the sides of the waist. And exhale through the mouth, let it go. Once more like that, inhale to find length. And keep the length as you exhale and soften. Open your eyes, I'll mirror you. So walk your right fingertips away from you. Place your opposite hand to your hip and then plant that bottom hand down, spiral the chest open. And with your next inhale, sweep the upper arm. Exhale, place the hand behind your head. Now root your head back into the cradle of your hand, receiving a beautiful stretch through the latissimus dorsi, our big back body muscle. Next inhale, reach the arm up. Exhale, bring both arms to a T and we're twisting. So move that left hand behind you now, placing right hand to the front knee. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist behind you. Second side, inhale, lengthen, come right back through center. And place your fingertips behind you. Let's reset. Inhale, get longer through the spine. Exhale, keep that length. This time walk the left fingertips away from you. Plant the palm, opposite hand to hip, spiral the chest open. And then inhale, lift the upper arm and then place the hand to your head. As you exhale, root your head into the cradle of your hand. And I'm actually trying to move my elbow almost out of my peripheral vision to deepen that stretch. The tendency will be to actually lift that opposite sitting bone. So try to keep it heavy here. Pelvis should be stable and strong. Next inhale, we lift up. Arms are horizontal. And then we twist. Right hand goes all the way behind you. Left hand to the knee. Get taller in your spine. And then feel the rib cage rotating. The most mobile region of the spine is the thoracic. It's also where a lot of our most tense muscles are located in that rotator cuff group. So today's class, we will just be bringing everything out, creating space in the shoulders. Come right back through center. Place your hands behind you, another big lift. And then exhale to release. Move into child's pose. Take your hands to the front of the mat, knees wide, big toes tap together. One breath to release the head. Just nestling the hips back into place. And then walk your hands halfway in. Root the right hand, look at your left palm, and then thread the needle. Resting heavy to that left shoulder, little to no pressure to your head or neck. You can stay here in this mild version, which I love, or if you're looking for more, you can just creep those right fingertips to the top of the mat, tense the fingertips, give a push, and feel the hips move back with more energy now. So your choice in variation. Ooh, this one's so tight on those triceps and deltoids and outer arm muscles. Walk your fingertips in. Give a push to that hand so that you're rising up with core strength. Good. Neutral spine. Take a clearing breath. Second side. Push the left palm. Gaze to the right. And then thread the needle. Resting heavy to that right shoulder. Little to no pressure to the head and neck. Either stay here or walk the left fingertips to the top of the mat. A little push off tented fingers to send your hips back. Good. 
Good. Anchor down through that front hand to support yourself all the way up. Draw the knees in. Find tabletop. And from this position, push down through your knees and your hands. Tuck the tailbone round the spine, gaze to navel. Feel the shoulders pulling apart from one another, what we call protraction. Inhale just to a neutral spine. And then exhale to protract those shoulder blades, your scapula. We'll do three more like this. So it's just cat pose into neutral. How much space can you create in the back of the heart? Thinking of sending the back of the heart right up toward the ceiling. Can you gain another inch of space there? Push, push, push. Maybe even send your femur bones forward an inch or two to get that extra push. Come back through neutral. One more. This feels really good, doesn't it? Press. And come back through neutral. Nice. Step yourselves to plank. And then lift the hips for down dog. And we're not going to linger here long. You can pedal the legs or take any adjustments that you need just to feel like you're really arriving into your practice now. And with your next inhale, come to the tips of the toes and take as many steps as you need to find the top of the mat. <laughs> inhale, lengthen halfway, hands to shins, a little push to triangulate, lengthening the spine. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Fold more fully. Let's get into a twist now. Inhale, lengthen. Take the feet wider, right to the edges of the mat feels good for me. Left hand under my face, and the right hand will sweep up. Now bend the left knee as you reach the right arm. Exhale, fold. Plant the right hand, sweep up with the left, bending the right knee. Exhale to fold. If there's lots of space, you can feel free to bring those feet a little closer together now. Working with the flow, left hand down, right arm lifts. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right hand down, left arm lifts. Exhale, fold. One more flow to each side. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine. Float your right foot to the back of the mat. Right into a lateral series. Plant the back heel, windmill the arms for warrior two. And then place front forearm to thigh. Keep your right arm behind you. And we'll do a few thoracic lifts. So reach the right arm forward and then toward the front of the mat. Really stretching the right shoulder blade and then plugging it back. Do that again. Stretch, almost shrugging shoulder to ear, and then up, plug it back. And once more, stretch and plug. Now inhale, sweep the arm up, and we'll do a few rotations. All the way forward. Big sweep. And once more, forward. And sweep. This time, keep the shoulder head back, so the, actually the head of the arm bone, the humerus, back. The shoulder is locked into place, and then bring the arm over the ear. A wonderful way to get into your side angle pose, Parsvo Konasana. Active hands, strong legs. Inhale, now lift up. Whew, straighten the front leg. Same thing, triangle, reach forward, kick the hips back. Release the bottom fingertips to the inner shin. Keep the back arm where it is. Here we go. Sweep overhead. Shrug and plug. Shrug and plug. Shrug and plug. Lift the arm. Full rotation. Sweep it forward. And lift. All the way back. Now forward. And lift. One more time. Go forward. Pause when you're reaching toward the camera. Or toward the video, rather. <laughs> I'm reaching toward the camera. You're reaching toward your device. Plug the head of the arm bone back and then lift up. 
Another great way to align your shoulders now in triangle pose, Trikonasana. One line of energy from hand to hand. Gaze down, press the feet, rise all the way. Parallel your feet, take hands to hips. Let's just take a little break, bow forward halfway. Good, release fingertips underneath the shoulders. Right hand under the face, left palm to the sacrum. Lift the right hip as you twist left. And then lift the upper arm if that feels okay on the shoulder mobility. Exhale, release. Place the left hand down. Lift the left hip as you sweep the right arm. Release your hands, fingertips under the shoulders, get long in the spine. Strengthen the core by rooting your navel to spine so you can take one hand at a time to your hips. Be proud of your strength. Press the feet, slowly rise. Bring your arms to a T, second side. Point the right toes to the back of your mat. Exhale, warrior two. Front forearm to thigh. Keep the back arm where it is. And then sweep all the way forward. Inhale, get that shrug. Exhale, plug. Work with that three times. Good. Reach the arm up and all the way back. Full rotations. Reach forward, overhead, and then up and back. Forward, overhead, up, and back. Last time, reach forward, pause, plug the arm on back, and then reach overhead. A perfect side angle pose. Gaze down to reach all the way up. Straighten the front leg. Kick your hips back as you reach, reach, reach. And then when you can reach no further, release the fingertips to the inner shin. Stretch that back arm over the ear. Reach and plug. Reach and plug once more. Reach and plug. I know it's a lot of work. Lift the upper arm. Send it all the way back. And then reach overhead. Up. Back. Reach overhead. Once more. Reach it up. Back this time as you reach toward the screen, plug the head of your arm bone back, and then just lift the arm into your perfect trikonasana. One line from hand to hand. Yes, gaze down, rise all the way up. Parallel the feet, take hands to hips. Whew. Heel toe the feet in. And step to the top of your mat. Release your arms, Tadasana. And I notice when I do twists personally, I get a lot of pent up emotions. I think that it's really bringing out stale stress or tension that's been living in my muscles for a while. And it feels pretty amazing to gain that mobility back in my spine. So if you're anything like me and you're feeling a little heated right now, just take a big breath in. And through the mouth, let it go. You can even vocalize a little. Uh, a sigh is so good for the nervous system. Once more. Uh, this is our last flow now. A little different. Step your feet together. Keep an inch of space between the heels. Inhale, lift your arms overhead. Exhale, take hands to heart and sink down for chair pose, Utkatasana. Now scoop your tailbone under, make sure you can see all ten toes. Place the right hand to the outer thigh with your left elbow hook. Press your palms together. Hug your left hip back as you twist right. Come through center. Place the left hand to the outer thigh, right elbow hook. No, we're not taking a break. Press those palms together, right hip back, twist left. Move through center. Reach your arms up, one final breath. 
Exhale, fold, take those feet wider. Good, inhale, lengthen halfway. Float the right foot back. Now you can do this posture from a low lunge. That's where we'll start. And then if you want, there'll be an option to lift into a high lunge. Place your left hand to your outer thigh with your right elbow hook. Press your palms together. Now the key here is to press tricep into the belly of the quadriceps to help you gain that rotation through the thoracic. Either stay or tuck the back toes, maybe lift the back knee to play with balance. Wherever you are, place your back hand to your sacrum, right hand way off onto the wooden or onto the floor, you might be on the carpet. Stack those shoulders, lift the upper arm now, and just enjoy that beautiful open twist. And release, hands to either side of the front foot, look forward, step forward. Inhale length and halfway. Float the left foot back. Start in the low lunge. Right hand to the outer thigh, left elbow hooks. Press your palms together. Move into the high lunge if you're looking for that added balance or that added challenge of balance. And notice I can be sinking, or I can really make this pose count, rooting my tricep into my quads to get the thumbs closer to the sternum. Notice the right hip, pull it back and then hug it in. Yes, gaze down and release. Take it back, down dog. And just pedal from one leg to the next. That's amazing work, everyone. We're moving on to our backs. Bend your knees, sit to one side, and swing your legs forward, come all the way down. Bring yourselves into what I call supine chairs. So point your toes, shins are lifted parallel to the yoga mat. Lift your arms, hands directly above the shoulders. Palms face one another. Now, to make this a bit more challenging, push your knees forward until they vertically stack over the hips. Oh, and you'll already start to feel that wonderful core work. This might be enough for you. You can hang out in this position. If you're just watching the video right now and not trying it, I challenge you to actually try this one because it is surprisingly difficult. It's an amazing core strengthener. If you're still looking for more, we add our thoracic rotation. Press the back of the head. Inhale, lift the left fingertips up, almost a handprint above the right. My left shoulder is completely lifted. I'm rotating through that mid-back. Exhale, plug both shoulders to the mat. Inhale, lift the right arm, the right shoulder. Exhale, plug. And you might need to look around, see if things have shifted at all. And then just work with three more of those. Two more. One more. Draw the knees to chest. Step the feet together on the yoga mat. Bring your arms to a T. Press the feet, lift the hips, turn them to the right. Drop the hips, let the knees flow right, gaze left. Simple, supine twist. You may wish to just enjoy the restorative elements of this twist. Or if you're still looking for that extra work, you can actually lift the left arm way back behind you. I don't quite have enough space to do this, so I'm just going to scooch myself down on my mat. Reach the left arm way back behind you. Your thumb is on the mat. And as you exhale, bend the elbow into a 90 degree position. And then feel the shoulder heavy to the mat. 
or at least that's the goal. We might not be there yet. I know I'm not. Big inhale to reach. Big exhale to release. So either a passive or an active twist. Wherever you are, there's one more exhale. Press the feet, lift the knees, rebalance the pelvis. Take a clearing breath. Lift the hips, turn them to the left, lower the hips, let your knees flow left. Either staying here, taking the gaze to the right, or adding on by sweeping that right arm back, thumb down to the mat. When I'm stretching here, I'm actually thinking of stretching out of my hip. How much space can I create in the entire side body? And then exhale, bring that arm into that cactus arm position, that right angle. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. And wherever you are, you have one more exhale. With heavy feet, lift one knee up at a time. Rebalance the pelvis, take a clearing breath, letting your feet go wide, knees knock together. And then extend your legs all the way out for Shavasana. Close your eyes. And enjoy the pulse of your body. As your breath returns to its resting rate. This moment to really help us receive all of the amazing benefits from our practice. time, feel free to pause the video and stay. Once you're ready, wiggle your fingers and toes. Find movement at your ankles and wrists. Root down through your sacrum so you can safely lift one knee at a time and move to the right side of your body. <clears throat> Support yourself all the way up to a seat. Cross your legs, press palms together in Anjali Mudra, a symbol of gratitude. From my heart to yours, namaste.